Hello everyone and welcome back to Country Kids Outdoors. I appreciate you being here today. If you would, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button there. That'll help us out a lot. But uh, anyways, I haven't done this in a little bit of a uh, while. But uh, back uh, probably about a year ago, I did a little morning, uh, I think short it was, on breakfast. So I do like to cook from time to time. And no professional whatsoever. I got this recipe offline, but... Uh, if you'll go through my videos, you'll notice that we've been doing some quail hunting down at uh, South Fort Preserve in Royston, Georgia. And so, of course, uh, we're going to do some quail poppers. poppers matter of fact i kind of looked at three or four uh you know videos online on youtube and kind of put a couple of them together that i liked and then went off of google they got some stuff but uh what we have here today some of the ingredients you will need obviously we're going to need uh quail so i got the quail legs in here in the breast they're deboned uh the breasts are but the legs i actually left the one bone in the center that way you can eat them off like wings uh we did marinate them overnight uh, in uh, sweet and sour sauce. So use teriyaki or whatever this would be. So we're gonna make a few of them where they're kind of like a more of a uh, Hawaiian or um, I don't know, Chinese kind of deal taste, something, I don't know, <laughs> something like that. But anyways, uh, we're gonna do a little bit with the cream cheese, uh, just your regular cream, cream cheese from uh, Walmart. And then uh, I like sharp cheddar, so we're going to do some in the sharp cheddar uh, from Walmart. Just, uh, I have blood pressure problems, so we get to any kind of bacon you like. They say the thinner bacon works better than the thick on these poppers, but I'm getting the low sodium bacon here. And of course, got to have your jalapenos, so we're going to dice them up here in just a second. This is just out of the fresh produce area. And then for some seasoning, I've got a couple different ones, so I'm going to try to do half and half. Of course, once again, no salt. I like this Mrs. Dash stuff. I'm gonna use a chicken flavor. And then I seen this one also too. Uh, I think this is Tabitha Brown called Sunshine. This is all purpose seasoning. And it is garlic, ginger, pineapple, and mango. So check that out. So I'm gonna do kind of half and half and see how which one we like the best. Try to mix up a little bit. And then also a uh, little bit of lime juice. I cheated here. I didn't want to go squeezing the lime. So just bought some cheap dollar lime juice so but uh so stay tuned first thing we're going to do here is that we're going to uh it's the first time i've ever done it i'm going to try to um uh, cut up some of these jalapenos so let's get at it all right uh, i'll kind of show you here hopefully you can see pretty good of course i'm being my own camber man here so hope that y'all can so uh uh, this is my first time and I have watched enough videos to know that uh, That you know, these old jalapenos can uh, burn your eyes up and <laughs> and uh, you know, so I didn't have no uh, Gloves here. So I just grabbed a couple of the small uh, Sandwich bags Ziploc bags, whatever and that's what I'm using here to uh, Cut these up and really What worked easy for me is is I just got a plate out and uh I just cut the top off like that, set it up in the air, Oops. Uh, just quartered it, is what I did, like this, and then of course that middle come out really good that way. Now of course some of you can put in the comments, you might know an easier way or a video to, you know, do these better. Uh, this is my first rodeo, so uh, I'm just... Uh, Kind of doing it like you would do green peppers or whatever, and uh, um, and you know that's what I'm doing. So, so I'm just slicing them up like there because I want them in kind of in a uh, you know long thin piece to put in between the breast of the quail. 
and see that one it come right out so and then uh, kind of what I do is is then I just they always tell me the cold water helps I just run them under the cold water get all the seeds off of them and uh, lay them like that right there so so we're going to continue to do these right here and hopefully we'll still be able to see and won't burn our eyeballs out so anyways stay tuned all right so you can see here we got our uh, jalapeno peppers sliced up there so next step is is what we're going to do is is i'm going to pick through here and we're going to come over here to the skillet and uh we're going to brown this for a little bit this quail just get it a little bit crunchy and uh nothing special we're just going to get a little crunchy and i'm going to use a little bit of lime juice here to actually do this in so i know y'all can't see me but the most important thing is you can see the dish being made so uh here we go all right so i've got this on low heat so because we don't want to cook it completely through but we're going to use this lime juice here to kind of help cut down that gamey uh a little bit of gamey uh, you know taste that you get from the meat now i like it but a lot of people don't so uh, so we're going to uh, take care of that and once i brown once i brown the breast parts of it then i'm just going to throw the uh the uh the actual uh legs in there and let them cook for a little bit so We'll be doing them just a little bit different uh, because they want, we won't be wrapping those. So right now I'm just getting these. So we're gonna turn the heat up just a little bit. Ooh, I can smell that. I can smell that uh, lime juice. Mm. So we killed uh, 14 quail on Saturday. Mason, my son, 15 years old, uh, got through on his first hunt. And uh, we're so excited about that. So that was awesome. And he got to kill some. So that's fantastic. Uh, my buddy Derek from down in Pavo, Georgia, came up there and met us. And uh, he got to kill a few. and uh, Or, you know, I should say harvest. Harvest few. And I wanted y'all to see is, is that, uh, you know, whether this turns out good or whether it don't, I try not to waste, uh, you know, what God's given us. So, and, uh, and I try to cook it and, um, and, uh, you know, and enjoy it. So, um, so you'll notice there how the breaths kind of come out, you know, um, of course there's two legs to one breast. So we all know that from, eating chicken so uh so that little bit of red on there that is a soy uh sweet and uh sweet and soy sauce uh that are marinated them in and uh so uh that will also help cut down on the so what we're going to do is we're just going to brown them a little bit and then we're going to take and take and uh <clears throat> Wrap them babies. Uh, you know, while we're while this is cooking, we're going to uh, we're going to uh, cut our uh, cubes up for our cream cheese and all that good stuff for the recipe. But uh, so I guess I should have separated up them bowls. It'd have been a little bit easier to find the breast so because that's what we'll rock wrap into the poppers is the is the breast so. I'm gonna turn that heat up now because really I just want to get it brown on both sides and I don't want it completely cooked I don't want it completely cooked yet because uh we will be uh wrapping these and finishing them up in the oven so uh so we'll let this start cooking up we'll be right back all right 
So once y'all see that, kind of like when you put them on the grill, I've uh, I've kind of just browned them a little bit, got them going on each side. That way they're, you know, pretty well cooked. I'd say you do this for about three or four minutes. Uh, uh, I'm not going to cook them dry because I don't want them, you know, they're going to go in the oven, so I don't want them to dry out. But I just want to get rid of, you know, go ahead and cook, you know, get it that consistency of chicken. You know, looking like chicken. Smells really, really good. I wish y'all could smell that, 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 uh, sweet and sour sauce is kind of cooking off there now, making that little bit of roux down there in the bottom. Mm. Uh, I'm already telling you these things are going to be phenomenal. Uh, I don't think now we're getting we're about where we want to be. So they're looking good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these off to cool and then uh, for a minute. And then once they're, we can touch them again, we're going to go ahead and uh, start our uh, cutting up our cheese right now while these are cooling off as I set them off. And... Uh, and we're going to start, we're going to season them up again. We're going to kind of pretty much take them out of the pan, which I'll show you in just a second. So uh, just stay tuned. I'm setting this outside the pan to rest, these little quail. Um, you know, it's getting around that holiday season too, you know. So, you know, a lot of people out hunting, you know, wild game of some sort. And, uh, you know, I just thought this was a good time for a, just my own version. Like I said, this ain't, um, uh, you know, I looked at some online and kind of, you know, took a little bit I like from each one and, uh, um, you know, going to make them for us. And uh, I mean, they smell great. So, uh, and you know, hey, everybody loves chicken. So, <laughs> uh, obviously, you know, this bird, it's going to be like chicken. See, it's white meat. And, uh, I know a lot of people said, you know, it's dark meat, but you can see now that that's cooking up a little bit. It's more of a, you know, white meat. Of course, that, that's, um, you know, at one time, this is what people ate. I mean, we get, we act like because they don't come out of a store, you know, it, uh, you know, we shouldn't eat it. So, uh, but that's what the good Lord put it here for. So, anyway, so now I'm going to take this over here and just let these rest. Okay, everybody. So the cream cheese ones are a little bit more, how do you say it? Um, like I'll show you. So I cut them off in about a half inch, like they say. To me, that kind of seems like <clears throat> it'd be a little overpowering, that much cream cheese. So I'm gonna take and just sliver about a that much, and then I'll use this one on one, and this one on another, so. The other thing I did with these, because it helps with the cream cheese, because it's a little smushy, I can take them and do this. Like put one there, and then take one and put it here. So, uh, and then of course, take your bacon. Take your bacon like so. Um, it just seems to wrap better if I go that way. Um, I just did do a kind of diagonal wrap. So, see, so voila, perfect. Since I've never made these before, I set the timer first of all in the oven for 15 minutes. Okay, well, if y'all wanna get a look at them. So obviously, you know, the bacon, it's, you see the cheese, the cheddar cheese is melting out faster than the cream cheese. So now, uh, I'm going to do it for the five more minutes, like I said, and then turn the broiler. Uh, you know, meat actually looks pretty good. So let's just do it five more minutes and then we will, uh, we'll do, and then I'll do the, uh, broil for five to 10 minutes. And then I'll show them to you. All right, everybody. Here we go. I'm getting ready to show you. There's my uh, quail poppers. Um, now that juice that's down in there, I'm getting ready to take these out. And put them on a rest. Let them rest on a rack. 
but we'll come back on in a few minutes and uh, we'll tell you how good we like these poppers. All right, here we go. We're gonna do the taste test. Gotta cook what you eat. So this is actually one of the uh, cream cheese ones. So I'm gonna get you all a shot of that. See the meat, the cheese, cream cheese. There we go. Let's just do this. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Never know it ain't chicken. Right there's quail, jalapeno poppers. Hope y'all enjoyed it, as I did. Mm.